The Song of Peace In the small village of Dinan, nestled between rolling hills and the gentle flow of the Perfume River, lived a young boy named Fong. His days were filled with the laughter of friends and the scent of rice fields swaying in the breeze. However, peace was a fragile blossom in Vietnam during those days, as echoes of a distant war reached even the quiet corners of Da Nang. One sunny afternoon, as Fong played by the riverbank, he noticed a group of elderly men gathered under the ancient banyan tree. Intrigued, he approached them. Hello, Fong, greeted Mr. Kwong, the village elder. We were just reminiscing about the times when this village was a haven of harmony. Harmony? Fong asked, puzzled. Yes, child. There was a time when the fields were not tainted by war, and the river's song was the only melody that echoed through the air, Mr. Kwong explained, his eyes reflecting a distant memory. The old men shared tales of a time when the village danced to the rhythm of life rather than the beat of distant drums. Fong listened intently, his heart yearning for the peace his village once knew. Days turned into weeks, and as the war waged on, the shadows of conflict crept closer. Fong's best friend, Lin, had a brother serving in the army. The once vibrant village now echoed with whispers of uncertainty. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the rice fields, Fong and Lin sat by the river, contemplating the changes around them. I miss the laughter, Fong, Lin sighed, her eyes reflecting the sadness that had settled over their once happy village. Me too, Lin! I wish there was a way to bring back the harmony, Fong said, gazing at the peaceful river. Inspired by the tales of the elders, Fong decided to embark on a quest to restore peace to his village. He sought guidance from Mr. Kwong, who handed him a worn map and whispered, Find the Cave of Tranquility, Young One. There you'll discover the key to restoring harmony. Determined, Fong and Lin set out on their journey, venturing into the dense forests and crossing babbling brooks. Along the way, they encountered people whose lives had been touched by the ravages of war. In a small hamlet, they met an elderly woman named Mrs. Hoa, who shared her sorrowful tale. My son went to fight, and I haven't heard from him since. All I have left is his harmonica, she said, handing Fong a small, weathered instrument. The melody that emanated from the harmonica carried the pain of separation, and Fong knew he had to continue his quest to find the Cave of Tranquility. Finally, after days of travel, Fong and Lin reached the entrance of a hidden cave. As they entered, the air became still, and a serene silence enveloped them. Deep within the cave, they discovered a pool reflecting the shimmering light of peace. Amidst the tranquil waters, Fong noticed a stone engraved with the words, the song of unity lies within. He recalled Mrs. Hoa's harmonica and played a heartfelt melody. As the notes echoed through the cave, the pool shimmered with an ethereal light, 
and a profound sense of peace settled over Fong and Lin. Returning to their village, they shared the newfound harmony with their neighbors. The once broken spirits of the villagers began to mend as they embraced the melody of unity. However, the plot took an unexpected turn when news arrived that Lin's brother had been injured in the war. Overwhelmed with grief, Lin questioned the very essence of their quest. In the midst of sorrow, Fong remembered the words engraved in the cave. With a heavy heart, he played the harmonica once more allowing the haunting melody to carry his pain and the collective sorrow of the village. As the last note faded away, a miracle occurred. Lin's brother, believed to be lost, returned home, his wounds miraculously healed. The villagers, witnessing this unexpected twist of fate, realized that the true song of peace lay not in the absence of war but in the resilience of the human spirit. And so, the village of Danan learned to harmonize with the ebb and flow of life, finding peace in their hearts despite the echoes of war that surrounded them. Weeks after the miraculous return of Lin's brother, the village of Danan flourished in their newfound unity. The rhythm of life pulsed through the once saddened hearts of the villagers as they worked together to rebuild what war had torn asunder. One day, as Fong and Lin strolled along the riverbank, they encountered a weary stranger. His eyes carried the weight of battles long fought, and his tattered uniform spoke of a soldier worn by the sands of time. I seek refuge, the stranger said, his voice echoing the fatigue of a soul haunted by the memories of war. Fong, recognizing the pain in the stranger's eyes, extended a hand of friendship. You are welcome here. Our village has known the echoes of war, and we have found solace in the song of unity. The stranger, named Quan, shared his story of a war that seemed to have no end. His eyes sparkled with a mix of gratitude and disbelief as he witnessed the villagers working side by side, rebuilding homes and planting hope in the fertile soil of their shared resilience. As days turned into nights, Quan became an integral part of the village. His experiences, though different from theirs, resonated with the shared humanity that transcended the boundaries of war. In the evenings, under the twinkling stars, the villagers gathered around a bonfire, sharing stories that wove the threads of their lives into a tapestry of understanding. One evening, as the villagers sat in quiet reflection, the distant sound of gunfire shattered the stillness. Panic gripped the hearts of those who had thought the echoes of war were but a distant memory. The stranger Quan, with a steely resolve, rose to his feet. I cannot let the specter of war haunt this village again, he declared his eyes reflecting a determination born from the stars of battles past. Fong, Lin, and the villagers rallied behind Quan. They decided to embark on a mission to find the source of the conflict and bring about a resolution that didn't involve bloodshed. Quan, with his knowledge of the war-torn regions, led the way. Their journey took them through dense jungles and across rugged landscapes. Along the way, they encountered people whose lives had been touched by the shadows of war, just like their own village. In a small clearing, they met an elderly couple, Tui and Kwong, whose son had disappeared during the conflict. Tui clutched a worn photograph, tears glistening in her eyes. Quan, empathizing with their pain, promised to help find their lost son. As the group delved deeper into the heart of the conflict, they discovered a hidden encampment where soldiers on both sides yearned for peace. 
The leaders on either side, hardened by years of strife, were unwilling to lay down their arms. In a daring move, Quan stepped forward and played a song of peace on a makeshift flute. The haunting melody echoed through the war-torn valley, capturing the attention of both sides. Slowly, the soldiers lowered their weapons, drawn to the universal language of music that spoke to the humanity buried beneath the layers of conflict. In a surprising twist, the leaders of the opposing forces, moved by the melody, agreed to a ceasefire. The villagers, soldiers, and leaders, once divided by war, now stood united in the shared desire for peace. As Quan reunited Tui and Quang with their long-lost son, the villagers of Da Nang realized that the true song of unity was not just a melody but a symphony woven from the threads of compassion, understanding, and the resilience of the human spirit. Together, they forged a path towards lasting peace, leaving the echoes of war to fade into the distant past.